Hi, I'm Alan Pope, developer advocate on Telegraph at Influx Data. And I'm Scott Anderson, a tech lead on the product team at Influx Data. So Scott, tell us about InfluxQL with InfluxDB 2.x. So InfluxQL is a query language designed to query time series data from specifically InfluxDB 1.x. Mm -hmm. uh, but the nice thing is InfluxDB Cloud and InfluxDB 2.x both ship with support for InfluxQL. And are there significant differences between using InfluxQL with InfluxDB 1.x and 2.x? You know, there are. And, and it really comes down to two major differences. The first one is authentication and authorization. Mm -hmm. With 1.x, this was optional. You didn't have to secure one, your 1.x instance. Right. But if you did, it was done using basic authentication. So you would use a username and a password to authenticate against a 1.x instance. With 2.x and InfluxDB Cloud, authentication is required. And it's done using token authentication. So in order to authenticate with a 2.x database or with InfluxDB Cloud, you need either one to map a username and password combination to a token or just use token authentication. The second major difference is in 1.x, part of the core data structure was databases and retention policies. In 2.x and Cloud, these have been replaced by what we call buckets. So in order for InfluxQL to query data out of a bucket, InfluxQL depends on a database and retention policy combination to know where the data is coming from. So what you need to do is you need to map each database and retention policy combination to a 2.x or a cloud bucket. So in this query, we're selecting the temperature field from a DBRP measurement. With mapping set up, the InfluxQL request then gets mapped to the appropriate bucket. OK, so assuming I've got the authentication and database and retention policy set up, how do I use InfluxQL with InfluxDB 2.x? So all of this is made possible through a what we call a V1 compatibility API that ships with InfluxDB 2.x and Cloud. Gotcha. These are identical API endpoints that work exactly the same that they did in InfluxDB 1.x. So uh, for writing data, for querying data, they work the same. Um, so all the clients that you were using with InfluxDB 1.x, like Grafana or, or Chronograph, they'll still work to query InfluxDB 2.x or Cloud with InfluxQL. Are there any limitations using InfluxQL with InfluxDB 2.x? There are, there are a few. So all of the administrative tasks that you would do in InfluxQL with 1.x, like managing users or adjusting permissions, those are no longer supported in InfluxQL because those are, are managed through the InfluxDB v2 API. Also, InfluxQL is a mostly read-only language when, when using it with 2.x in cloud. So you can't select into, you can't write data back to InfluxDB. That would have to be done through Flux or other means. Great. Thanks for the introduction, Scott. Absolutely. Hopefully this helps you, and I'm really excited to see what you build.